Okay, so you want to start off using a primer first. So this is the Glorious um, Face Primer. You really don't need a lot of this. To be honest, I tend to just concentrate on the area where I have the more visible pores. So I will just get a little bit of a pea-sized amount. And I will just dot it in certain areas. And then just rub it in. This primer makes your skin feel really, really nice and soft. So it's not one that kind of leaves your skin with like a sticky texture, which I know that some people would prefer that kind of a feel, but this is like really like super soft. Okay, so I am going for a natural, no makeup, makeup look. Use the Cream Splurge Eyeshadow. Uh, this is the shade Victorious. I actually really like to use this shade as a general um, kind of base to like prep my eyelids. As these are, they don't crease um, and they have like a powder finish to them. Okay, so that's just got rid of all the redness. Okay, so now that the primer would have had time to set, um, it's going to be time to apply your foundation. We're going to be going in with the Liquid Touch Foundation. This is generally people's favourite uh, foundation that Unique do. But I've just got this kind of powder puff brush. And I'm just going to apply... I'm running out of this. I'm just going to tip it on. One, two, three, four, five drops. And then, as you usually would, just kind of dot it around everywhere. But then I found that when you kind of swirl it around, you're moving the product around quite a lot. If you want it to look a lot more flawless, a lot more full coverage, you can also do this with a brush. A lot of people will do this kind of technique using a beauty blender. Pat it, pat the brush as opposed to circular swipes. So when you apply foundation, even if your foundation doesn't match your neck and everything else, you do still kind of want to blend it down because if you have like product build up and you just kind of go to there, it's, there's going to be a visible line like shade difference. Okay, so as you can see, it's not a proper full coverage uh, foundation. It is buildable though, so if you want a little bit more coverage, just add a few more drops and repat that all over and blend it all out and it'd be a lot more fuller coverage than just your kind of medium. So my concealer is actually a shade lighter than my foundation. That is simply just because I like to use the concealer to brighten up areas of my face. And if you want to be covering blemishes and spots and things like that, you would use a concealer that is the same shade as your foundation. So this concealer is actually quite a thick um, consistency. Okay, you really do not need a lot of this product. If you use too much, it may feel um, kind of too thick on your skin. I do like to warm it up between my fingers first. The warmth of your fingers actually kind of almost melts the concealer. So it makes it a lot thinner. And a lot easier to blend. I'm just gonna tap the concealer. I'm not like rubbing my eyes. Uh, the reason for that is the skin under your eyes is obviously very sensitive. This is usually where you'll start seeing wrinkles first. So if you are going to be rubbing your skin around you're just going to be basically kind of aging yourself a lot quicker so if you can get into the habit of tapping the product on and you really you're kind of pushing it into your skin which will just help with that extra kind of natural flawless appearance usually with concealers you do want to set it with a powder this is the setting powder, this is the loose setting powder. To me, this is perfect if you want to be setting your concealer. 
Um, you can use a dampened beauty blender if you want. That's the technique that I usually use. But if I'm going for something a little bit less dramatic looking, then I will just grab a brush, tap it in to get some of the product on, swirl it around the edge, and then just gently tap it on top of the areas where I applied that concealer. So I'm generally just applying the powder wherever I applied the concealer because of the the liquid foundation has like a nice powdered finish to it, um, whereas the concealer doesn't. So just to add powder on top of that just kind of helps everything blend in a lot nicer with each other. Okay, so once you have foundation and your concealer on, your face can generally look quite flat. So to bring a little bit of more depth and dimension back into your face, just want to go in with a bronzer. Now, you can do contouring if you want, but because I am going for that natural look, I am just going to be adding a little bit of colour using this. So I tend to just get a fluffy blush brush, swirl it around once, but then tap it off. And then I will just apply it to my cheekbone area. And then along my forehead. For this kind of a look you don't want to be adding too much because then you're kind of taking away from that whole natural flawless look. For more kind of natural looking brows I actually really like using the palettes. The palette 1 so this is like the nude palette. So I'm just, this shade is called Chipper, so this is like a really nice matte light brown shade. So because I am going natural, literally just tapping it in twice. Okay, so you also get mirrors on the other side of the um, palettes. So I'm just lightly brushing it through. new epic mascara and i actually really really love this mascara it is fantastic the formula is really thin um so you're not going to really get like clumpy looking lashes but it's not so thin that it takes forever to dry it actually dries pretty quick to be honest because of the brush as well, there's a lot of bristles on the brush. It also tapers to uh, the tip, so you can really get into those little areas. Okay, so to add a little bit of colour to your cheeks, I'm going to be going in with the new blush. Um, and this blush is actually kind of like a pinky gold. I'm just going to tap it in. This has a nice gold shimmer to it. So I'm not going to be concentrating on like the ball, kind of the apple of my cheek. I'm going to be concentrating it more here, so that as you kind of turn your face, you get like a nice kind of reflective look as well. I am actually going to be going in with a gloss. I don't usually tend to go for glosses. Um, now you can line your lips if you want. Um, the gloss of my choice today is the shade Love Sick. It's like a really nice natural pinky nude shade. Don't mind this swatch by the way. That was actually a lip stain that I applied on yesterday. Okay, so it's really kind of like a nice natural soft pink shade. Okay. 
Okay guys, so that is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed my no makeup makeup look. Uh, and I hope that you will join me with my next video. Bye guys!